Welcome back, everyone. When you think of national parks in the United States, you think of parks like Zion, Yosemite, Yellowstone, and the Grand Canyon. The West Coast hands down has the best national parks. Comparing the East Coast parks to the West Coast parks is kind of like comparing David and Goliath. However, there are many national parks in the East Coast that are amazing places worth visiting. Here are the top five national parks on the East Coast. Number five, New River Gorge National Park. Located in Southern West Virginia, this is one of America's newest national parks, and it's a great one. Approximately 1.7 million people visit this park each year, and it spans over 73,000 acres. The main attractions in the park are the Overlook and the New River Gorge Bridge. The New River Gorge Bridge is the longest steel bridge in the Western Hemisphere, and it's an incredible sight to see from Long Point Trail. The Overlook has an incredible view as well. It's kind of like the greenery version of Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. I definitely highly recommend it. There's also rock climbing in the park if that's your thing. Number 4. Shenandoah National Park Located along the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, Shenandoah spans over 300 miles of wilderness. Skyline Drive runs through the park and you can stop at over 70 overlooks along the way getting great views of the mountains. There are over 500 miles of hiking trails in the park. Herbert Hoover actually used Shenandoah as a getaway on the weekends while he was in office. Some notable hiking trails are the Stony Man Loop and Old Rag. Old Rag is a 9.5 mile trail that will take you through the forest valleys, many switchbacks, and you even need to do some rock scrambling to get to the top. Once you make it to the top of the trail, you'll be rewarded with 360 degree panoramic views of the park. An interesting fact about Shenandoah is that the park has the largest concentration of black bears in the United States, so please do bring your bear spray for safety. And please, for the love of God, don't try to feed the bears or take selfies with them. We don't need a documentary called How I Got My Face Mauled by a Black Bear. There are plenty of stupid people in America who have gotten hurt before. Don't be another one, and please keep your distance. Number 3. Everglades National Park Everglades National Park is located in southern Florida. The Everglades encompasses 1.5 million acres of subtropical wilderness. The Everglades is an incredibly unique place to spend some time in. The Everglades receives roughly 60 inches of rain each year. To provide you some context, Seattle, Washington gets about half of that on an annual basis. For hiking, visitors can decide to canoe or kayak through the water trails or hike the land trails. Some notable land trails include the Pinelands Trail, the Gumbo Limbo Trail, and the Snakebite Trail, where you will come across hundreds of different birds. Now for the adventurous type, there is actually a ranger-led hike called Slow Slogging, where you can actually walk waist deep in the swamp. Now this sounds like a great way to get your leg turned off by a hungry gator, so I think I'm going to pass on that. An interesting fact about the Everglades is that it's the only place where alligators and crocodiles actually coexist. The alligators exist mostly in freshwater, and the crocodiles exist in saltwater. One of the best ways to experience Everglades National Park is to go on an airboat tour. Back in 2016, a few buddies of mine went on an airboat tour through the Everglades Holiday Park. My buddy actually dipped his hand in the water until the tour guide yelled, Get your hand out of the water, boy! Willie's gonna have it for lunch! He was referring to the enormous gator that resided in the swamp we were in at the time. He was an interesting character to say the least, and I think he was drunk that day too. I mean, it's in the middle of Florida, so that's kind of expected. Number 2. Great Smoky Mountains National Park Located along the North Carolina-Tennessee border, this is the most visited national park in the U.S. Millions of people travel here every year for great wildlife viewing, historical buildings, scenic waterfalls, and hundreds of miles of hiking trails, and that is what makes this park so special. Speaking of wildlife, the Cades Cove hiking area is an excellent place to see wildlife out and about. If you head to Cades Cove during sunrise, you may be able to see turkey, coyote, horses, and bears, and you may be able to get some great excellent photos as well. You can also see the widest variety of historical buildings, including 18th century log houses. Some notable hiking trails include the Abrams Falls Trail, the Rainbow Falls, the Klingman's Dome, and the Appalachian Trail. 
The Appalachian Trail consists of 71 miles that run through the park, and there are many different trails that will take you right there. Clingman's Dome is the tallest peak in the park that offers panoramic views that reach up to 100 miles. Now for you tree lovers, head to Newfound Gap. You will find a vast forest ecosystem filled with hardwoods, pines, and evergreens. Number 1. Acadia National Park Located in Bar Harbor, Maine, this beauty consists of over 47,000 acres, the majority of which are located on Mount Desert Island. This park really does have it all, whether you are an avid hiker looking to test your endurance, or a water lover romping in the frigid cold waters of Sand Beach. Driving the 27 mile park loop road will take you to all the major sites in the park. You will definitely want to stop by Sand Beach. Sand Beach is the only beach in the park that has sand. Wow, I wonder why they call it Sand Beach. From Sand Beach, you can hike over to Thunder Hole. At Thunder Hole, you can hear the ocean waves and their thunderous sounds created by the waves filling up in the caverns below. I hear Tom Brady came to Thunder Hole after he lost to Nick Foles in the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2018 Super Bowl. Legend has it that his tears are still floating in the water. Biking is very popular in the park. Many people bike Park Lake Road or any of the 45 miles of old-fashioned carriage roads that meander through the park. You will definitely want to stop by Jordan Pond, where you can walk the hiking trails around the pond and then take some good photos by the bank of the pond. Now, if you're a thrill seeker, go ahead and hike the Precipice Trail or the Beehive Trail. If you have a fear of heights though, please don't hike these trails. There are some very steep drop-offs and you don't want to get a heart attack trying to climb the rungs. Now for couples, head to Cadillac Mountain. Cadillac Mountain is the highest point on the eastern seaboard and is one of the first places to see the sunrise in the U.S. Heck, even if you're not a couple, head to Cadillac Mountain. It's a great place to catch a sunrise or a sunset. It's the combination of beautiful mountains, ponds, and beaches that really make Acadia so incredible and in my opinion, the best national park on the East Coast. The list of the national parks may be different for everyone, but this list was based on my experience having been to many of these parks. Honorary mention goes to Assateague National Park in Maryland. At some point, I would like to see Dry Tortugas National Park as well. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Feel free to also let me know in the comments what park you think are the best on the East Coast. Cheers.